Yang Zijiang could be one of the best performers in the STI market since the start of 2024. It moved up by near to 70%. However, recently it corrected. Well, you might be thinking whether Yang Zijiang is doing an uptrend, whether there's any technical change in Yang Zijiang. The video is proudly sponsored by Macquarie. Let's take a look in this video. I'm just going to show you one very simple method to evaluate the support of Yang Zijiang. This is a weekly chart of Yang Zijiang from 2021. It starts in its uptrend. Why do I say that? Because I put in a 21 moving average and 55 moving average to show the trend based on this weekly chart, based on a 21 week and a 55 weeks moving average. We can see that Yang Zijiang is pretty much in this upward movement here. Now, one thing I like to point out is each of the previous correction. For example, during this period here, Yang Zijiang corrected by 28%, this one 20.8% and 23%. So it seems that from the historical movement, I would imply that Yang Zijiang has an average of about 20 to 28 percent in terms of its correction, and we might likely see a rebound each time that it hit into that correction. In other words, if I were to do a similar projection from what happened previously, then a movement about a 20 percent of Yang Zijiang would still set it in the support region from the moving average. Or the other way to look at it is that if Yang Zijiang is to correct, let's say, in the region of 28% as what we saw previously, then it will still be considered as an uptrend. In fact, that by correcting near to the 28%, then Yang Zijiang will reach near to its previous high as a support level. Then with this information, there are two ways to look at the price movement of Yang Zijiang. First, that it might be moving down. I'm just saying that in order to reach the support region, it might be moving down. The other way to look at it is that if you do not want to tap into a possible downward movement, then is to follow the trend to wait for price to be near to the support level. Let's take a look at the daily chart. Now we saw that Yang Zijiang recently moved up or rather gap up right from this place here to here and that was because a brokerage upgraded its target price. However, it is now heading back and it seems to display some weaknesses here. In this case, to tap into the bearish movement, then one of the things that can be done is to look into a put warrant. Let's head to warrants.com.sg page and under warrants 2, you can go into the warrants selector. Then at the underline here, choose Yang Zijiang. There will be the call and the put warrant. So choose put warrant. Let's say for example, if you think that Yang Zijiang should move down to let's say $2 because that was one of the support region here. This means that it will move down about 15% from the current price. And we're going to do a simulation to assume that it might move down in the next two Three weeks. If Yang Zijiang is to move down like 15% today, then these warrants will gain about 59%. And if it's to move down, let's say three weeks later, then the warrant would be gaining 51%. Now, likewise, the other way to look at it is that if you were to get into a put warrant and if price doesn't move down, let's say, for example, it moved up, let's say, to $3 here, this would mean that Yang Zijiang will gain 27% from the current price of $2.36. Then the put warrant would decrease in value in this manner here. Technically, we've seen Yang Zijiang showing strong uptrend. However, we are also seeing some correction here. Hence, in this video, I'm presenting how we can use the put warrant to tap into a possible bearish price movement. However, do take note if you are trading into warrants, the risk involved and whether it is suitable for you. I come to the end of this video and hope that you like what I've presented. If you do so, please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe to be notified for future videos.